in trading when you have a high level of emotional intelligence. You are able to reduce stress, read what the market is presenting, and prevent your emotions from overtaking your trading. This is achieved by controlling your impulsive feelings and behaviors as your trade ticks up and down. You are able to realize how your emotions affect your thought process. Prior, during, and after a trade because not only do you know what your strengths and weaknesses are, but you also have self-confidence in your trading plan. All of this allows you to recognize that not every trade is going to go your way and you are going to lose some trades. However, because your emotional intelligence is high, you understand that the next trade is independent of the previous trade and you thus have a higher probability of it working in your favor. Order to get past your emotions, you have to discover what exactly triggers your emotional responses and the only way you are able to do that is by paying attention to your emotions. Recording them in some form of journal and then facing them. If you continue to avoid or rationalize your emotions, they will continue to stalk you in the shadows and jump out at you. Like a ninja, taking what they want and leaving you in shock over. Why you continue to make the same mistakes over and over again? Take notes when there is time available during the trade. So can remember what to record in the journal at the end of the day. Tend to prefer typing as find it the quickest and easiest method. But you can also make handwritten notes on a piece of paper or use a voice recorder. For each section of this form, will ask myself questions regarding how reacted emotionally and how those emotions affected the trade. When you do this, the information you record is not going to be very helpful right away. You are going to need to let some time pass in order to build up a database of your recollections before you will be able to use the information to your benefit but for accuracy it is vitally important that you record your thoughts as close as possible to when the trade is actually occurring. Here are some of the questions recommend reviewing your journal weekly to identify what you are doing well and what needs improvement. Additionally, it is beneficial to also review your trading on a monthly basis in order to highlight more macro issues. When you analyze each trade in your journal, do ensure that you highlight the good aspects of each trade and not just what went wrong in the trade. One of the common issues that arises in a new trader's journal is that they more often than not focus on all that they did wrong in the trade instead of also recording all that they did right. When you keep beating yourself up about the mistakes you have made, it can be extremely difficult to remain positive through the journey of becoming a successful trader. Your goal should be to balance your time when developing your technology, strategy and psychology skills for trading. If you spend too much time in one area and neglect the others, you will continue to run into difficulties while trading.